Hello friends, in this video let's uh, talk about check constraint. This is one of the uh, constraints in the MySQL. The previous section we talked about so what is uh, not null and unique. Here let's talk about what is check. Check constraint helps us to limit the value range that can be placed in a specific column. So, do we really get a, a scenario to use check constraints in the real applications? I would say maybe 50%. But yes, but better to know what is the purpose of it. If you define, if you amend check constraint to any table column, then it, it controls the values of a particular column. You can specify a range for a particular column value. Let us take a very basic example to explain the sec constraints in MySQL server. So let me take an employee table, famous employee table. So let us see employee table which is going to contain three columns. One is ID, name and age. I am, I am adding a check actually the employees who is greater than 18 they are only eligible to join into our organization. Okay here this scenario is the age of the employee should be greater than or equal to 18 then only we are allowing him to join into the organization else it throws an error message saying that it is violating the check constraint it means that his age is not in a defined range <coughs> defined values so let's try to create this table now the table has been created now you can see it now now let's try to insert the value insert into employee values values id so uh, one comma name john comma age age i'm putting as positive scenario <coughs> So let's try to create another record. Okay. So employee, ID, I'm, I'm not inserted the first record even yet. Let's take the second name, uh, employee, Kate. AC is uh, 65. Okay. Now let's go to this third. Go third. Raj. So let's keep it as a 17. So now if you see here, first record the employee age is 20, second record employee is 65, third record employee age is 17. So let's run this. Now the first record has been inserted uh, successfully. If you see, if you select it, you will get it. Okay. Now, so let me uh, go to another uh, K, a second uh, statement. Let me see first. Okay. See the record select uh, star. Now, obviously, yes, you will be seeing the first record. Okay. Now, let's go for uh, Kate, which is uh, which is, is 65. Let's run this. Okay. Record has been inserted. Now, let us see the selection of employee. You will be having two records, John and Kate of 65. Pause two scenarios. Now, let me clear this for easy error uh, indication. Let's run this now. Now, you can see it. Insert. This is the uh, action I am trying to do. Insert into employee. Values 3, raw 17. You can see check constraint employee check one violated so now even if i try two three times also i'll get the same error message okay so let me try again this same error message i'll get it so it means that it is violating the rules defined on the table now let's make it as 18 then of course yes it allows because greater than or equal to 18 let me run this now if you see this greater than or equal to 18 i i added a, a rule of greater than or equal to 18 then 18 allowed actually. So this is how the check constraint is going to work. Now one more violation happened is the Kate which is which is age is 65. Ideally in the retirement age or defined age for my organization is 60. So I should add a one more uh, a check. The people who is crossed 60 are not allowed to join into the organization. So let me add one more uh, uh, rule uh, for the say uh, for a for the same table let me create a different table okay underscore chk so if you are having that scenario 
employee age should be 18 uh, between 18 and 60 means then you can do like this okay so let me put it between 18 okay so 18 and 60 okay if you see i'm just running this employee age should be between 18 and 60 now i'm I've created a table so now let's run the same cases here see for the same this is 17 i'll put it okay just to explain it now let's run this positive scenario 20 it is lying between 18 and 60 of course works okay let us see the data okay now let's run the data first record inserted now let's run the k 65 case so it is violating check constant employee chk chk1 is violated it means that the age should be between 18 and 60 so here there is only lower limit but here i am keeping lower as upper limit as well for this particular organization so now now you can say to the kate uh, sorry we cannot allow you to work for our organization because of the age limits now let's go for raj so his age is 17 is minor actually it means as per my organization rules so i cannot allow him to work even 17 so at least he should become 18 he should wait at least a year to join into the organization now let's quickly come here and see the data you see you have only two records because kate is not allowed altogether okay if his age is at least 60 then our organization might have allowed him to work let me make it a 60 and try yes record inserted now let's check yes all the three records join into the company because kate age is 60 now we modified to 60 and raj is modified to 18 and the john is positive case 20. So this is how my check constraint is going to work on a table. So that's all about it. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.